everyone. So today we'll be demonstrating ocean acidification in a cup. The materials you'll need for today are two plastic cups. You'll need a sheet of paper. You'll also need some pH strips um, or something that can be an indicator of pH like bromophenol blue. You'll also need a three ounce small paper cup. It doesn't have to be paper, but as long as it's smaller than the, lar the larger plastic cups. You'll need tape, baking soda and vinegar, some measuring spoons and plastic wrap or some sort of lid for the cups. So with ocean acidification, we know that there's a lot of combustion of fossil fuels going into the atmosphere that is releasing a lot of CO2 in our atmosphere, which then gets absorbed by our oceans uh, through diffusion. And then after that, there's a lot of hydrogen ions that are released in the ocean water creating a more acidic environment. So with that being said, let's take a look at how to do ocean acidification in our cups. All right, to start off, I filled up both of my plastic cups with a little bit of water. Depending on the size cup you have and the size uh, smaller cup you have, it could be a third or a quarter full, uh, just as long as the cup can fit uh, with being one centimeter below from the top of the cup without touching the water, okay? So that's about how much water you want to put in your cups. Now I'm going to check the pH of one of my cups with my pH strip. So I'm going to take that strip and dip it into this cup here and place it on my white sheet of paper and label it as control water. All right, so now the next step, we are going to measure out one teaspoon of white vinegar. You can use a measuring spoon for this. And that one teaspoon of vinegar will be going into your smaller cup here. All right, now just for fun, we can also check the pH of vinegar to see what it'll look like with the pH strips. Dip that in, a nice kind of orange pink color. We can also put that down on our sheet and we will label it as vinegar so we don't forget. All right, and now we are going to take some tape and we will actually tape it one centimeter below the top of the cup here. Let's go ahead and do that. But make sure that the paper cup does not touch the water. We don't want it to get soaked. All right, that should do it about one centimeter just from the top. Okay, so now we are going to take a little bit of plastic wrap so that we have that ready once we add our baking soda in. So I'll leave that right beside my cup. And now we are going to measure out half a teaspoon of baking soda. half a teaspoon here and you want to add this baking soda very slowly because you'll notice it will actually cause bubbles and you don't want the solution to come out and go into your water so make sure you add this very slowly all right once that's done you're going to put your plastic wrap or lid over top. Put 
All right, and we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. So now what's going on in this cup? We have the baking soda and vinegar mixture, which actually creates and releases carbon dioxide. So now that is being released into the cup. And because it's a closed environment, the CO2 gas is being diffused into the water. So the water that you see down here is almost like our little ocean. And that's how it's getting into that solution. So after about five minutes, we will see with a pH strip what uh, pH that strip will indicate from the control and how that's changed from our control water. All right, so our five minutes is up. So now we can go ahead and take off that saran wrap and we will be checking the pH of that uh, solution. So grab your pH strip. You can get rid of the uh, paper cup solution as well. We won't be needing that. And go ahead and dip that pH strip in the water. And label it as experiment water. Now, just for fun, we can also check the pH of our paper cup solution to see what kind of pH that will indicate. and label it as paper cup solution. So now we can compare the different colors from our pH strips with our pH scale. Now we'll notice our control water is definitely a lot greener than our experiment water. So that looks like a six to me when you compare it on the pH scale, and this looks more like a seven. So you can definitely see that the experiment water became more acidic after uh, getting all that carbon dioxide from the paper cup solution diffused into the water. Now our vinegar, just for fun, looks more like a pH of two. And our paper cup solution was definitely more basic, um, going up to about a nine in pH. Now to do this experiment differently, you won't even need vinegar or baking soda. All you'll need is a straw. So we're gonna take that control water, our, our water that we haven't done anything to, and we are going to uh, put some saran wrap over top of it with our straw as well. So let's try to poke a hole through our saran wrap with the straw. And now, whoops. <laughs> Now you're going to put that over top of your cup here. And because we exhale carbon dioxide, one way you can also mimic ocean acidification is if you breathe in through, or breathe out through the straw and that will create CO2 gas in your paper cup and hopefully mimic that same ocean acidification results that we saw with the previous experiment. Let's go ahead and blow for a couple minutes and we'll check the results afterwards. All right, so that should do it. Now go ahead and grab another pH strip. And you can get rid of that saran wrap and dip it into that water. So definitely more of that yellowy uh, color that we saw for the experiment water last time. So it does still do the same effect as our vinegar and baking soda does because of how we release CO2 when we exhale. So that brings me to the end of my experiment. I hope you have gained a better understanding of how ocean acidification works through the process of diffusion. Now, I also hope that this experiment has inspired you to reduce your carbon footprint and really help out all of our calcifying organisms in our beautiful oceans. Thanks for watching, everyone.